Hello, I'm Vivette and today I show you something for the Farmer 3.36 which is a very nice exploit made by Quick Razor and you will need two devices for this exploit to work. For example, you need a hacked PlayStation Portable and a normal PlayStation Vita. On the PlayStation Vita you will need to buy the game World of Pool from the PlayStation Store. If you live in Europe it's called World of Pool and if you live in North America it's called Pool Hall Pro. So pretty much Pool Hall Professional I guess. In general both of these games are nearly the same. They are just differently named depending on the region, whatever. Then you need also to have or to use a PlayStation Portable. In this case I'm using my PlayStation Portable Go, my PSP Go. And on the PSP Go you also need to have the very same game. On the PSP it doesn't matter if the game is from the PlayStation Network Store or if it's just an ISO, it doesn't matter. You do have to run a 6.xx custom firmware though, so one of the ME, LME or Pro custom firmwares. It doesn't, doesn't matter if you're running version 620, 630, 660 or 661. It pretty much doesn't matter. And you have to have a specific save data file on your PlayStation Portable. And you have to have the specific PlayStation... No, you have to have a specific save data file on your PlayStation Vita. Technically, this would also work with two PlayStation Vitas, but the first one would have to be hacked and the second one would have to be unhacked, whatever. So you need one hacked device and one unhacked device. Then on the hacked device, for example the PSP, you need to use or enable one plugin, which is in this case called World of Pool Ad Hoc Exploit PRX. So pretty much a plugin for the World of Pool exploit and the exploit works via ad hoc. Ad hoc is the Wi-Fi connection between two PSPs when you are play when you're playing a game together or against each other, whatever. So enable the Wi-Fi switch on your PSP and enable the Wi-Fi function on your PS Vita. And then start World of Pool on both devices. If you did start World of Pool on both devices, at first you have to load the save data. On the PS Vita you got a slightly bigger save data than on the PlayStation Portable. It's a bit smaller on the PSP. Okay. Then on both devices you go to multiplayer. And then you press X on multiplayer. Then you go back to the PSP and create a game. Then you just press X until your Wi-Fi LED is flashing and the PSP says waiting for players to connect. Oh, and since this requires Wi-Fi, it does not work on a PlayStation Portable E1000. So the PSP E1000 is unable to do this. You need another PSP, like the 1000, 2000, 3000, or Go, or any of the hacked PS Vita devices. <clears throat> then on the PlayStation Vita, you go to Join Game, and then it's searching for your game. Then the screen freezes, and it should load the eCustom Farmer. And as you can see, the exploit triggered, and now we're in this... Pro Shell menu, so this is pretty much the base menu for the ARC 2 eCustom Farmer. Usually I'm replacing this with the 138 menu because I like the 138 menu more. I prefer the 138 menu. Okay, um, and to show you that I can run any game, at first I'm going to use the up and down buttons and the X button to go to the ISO directory, which has this D for directory and F is for file. 
Then in the top right corner we see application. If I now use the left or right buttons, I can change this between game image, pops or application. So application is pretty much just a normal homebrew like PSP Finder or an emulator like GPSP. Game image is I think a PSN game or an ISO, like in this case kon.iso, and pops is PlayStation 1 stuff. So if I switch this to game image and then press start, it should run the Kon game. And there we go. Running different games and the ARC 2E custom farmer via World of Pool. In my opinion, a very cool exploit. Um, it kind of sucks that they need a second device, but I like the idea behind this. And as you can see, I have no accessibility feature on this PS Vita. And if I try to update via Wi-Fi, it says, oh, found new firmware version 3.50. Any second now. There we go. So this device is definitely running version 3.36 and now I'm trying to hide my MAC address and there we go version 3.36 so a very cool exploit by Quick Razor it requires a hacked PSP or a hacked PS Vita plus the device you want to hack and this plus device is an unhacked PS Vita so one hacked device and one unhacked device then you need two different safe data one safe data on the PSP one safe data on the PS Vita, and then you need one specific plugin which you have to use and activate on your hacked device. Then you start the games on both PS Vitas, no, on, on both devices, and then you host a game on the hacked device, so it's loading the plugin, and on the unhacked device you're simply joining. So this is a very nice and cool exploit. Once again, this was made by Quick Razor. If you want to support him, just donate him some money via PayPal or whatever. He's a very cool guy and I think in the last 12 months he made pretty much all of the exploit games. Well, not the games, but the exploits. He found the exploits in the games. So yeah, I'm the that and see you soon.